Today I turned to the installation of some brackets and fittings inside the hull of the Mill Creek 16.5 with the exterior hull glassed and uh, the weave filled. We flipped the back over and uh, measured the position for fittings such as seat cleats and brackets for the uh, foot braces. Up forward, the front passenger, uh, the passenger in the bow, uh, will use uh, foot braces that in normal case would be uh, through bolted with a hole drilled through the hull and uh, the rail for the foot brace uh, simply bolted onto the interior of the hull. I decided to use the optional kit which has a fitting that is uh, glassed to the inside of the hull uh, leaving no bolt uh, visible on the exterior of the hull. So uh, I marked the position of those. Uh, I also cut some 3x3 three three inch uh, squares of fiberglass tape to use to reinforce them in position. And after marking their position they were coated with silica thickened epoxy uh, put in place and then the cloth overlaid it and uh, that cloth was then um, uh, wetted down and uh, the bolt was uh, taped in place. These have to be marked precisely so that they fit through the holes in the uh, foot brace rails and uh, the positioning must be checked after they're in place uh, to ensure that the rail will fit. Uh, the whole process was a little tedious. It would have been made easier if I had uh, done uh, one side at a time as called for in the instructions and uh, uh, by flipping the hull onto its side the, the uh, glassing procedure would have been much simpler. But anyway after those were in place uh, I prepared the mounting for the rear passenger. Um, the aft passengers uh, foot brace rails uh, ride on uh, two riser blocks so that the rail clears the uh, hanging knee. Those blocks were marked in position and simply uh, epoxied in place and held in place temporarily by tape. Finally the uh, f uh, seat cleats were marked in position and, uh, and those were epoxied in place and those simply are rails that will um, uh, hold the seat in place uh, after those are built.